YouTube, this is your girl Carmen Kaboom broadcasting live from the dollar store. And I was passing this aisle and it, it dawned on me to pose the question why can't I make tacos like Taco Bell? I don't understand that my meat never looks like Taco Bell meat. And I found out yesterday, coincidentally, while I was on Instagram, some smart follower had a post and it showed the real reality of the Taco Bell meat which is not real meat as, as well as some other information but this is what's going on with a lot of these businesses they're not using real meat everything is fake is anything real anymore as far as our food goes but anyway I have prepared tacos twice within the last few um, maybe two or three weeks and I notice, and I don't eat tacos that often, but every now and again, and I like the hard shell as opposed to the soft shell. I like the hard shell better. And I saw these stand-up shells the other week, and I got those. They're okay. They're all right. But um, I got the nacho cheese taco shells la the last time, which was about two weeks ago. And they're okay, not to, nothing to brag about, but I like the Taco Bell nacho cheese um, shells better. But it was a mess. You know, tacos are so messy. I like tacos, but they're so messy, either, whether you work, make them at home or make them at Taco Bell. And I don't know if you're supposed to use the refried beans. I don't recall seeing refried beans in the Taco Bell tacos. But I guess some people use taco, I mean, refried beans in the tacos. I don't know. But it's so much stuff you can use for ingredients in the tacos. And it seems like the more you use, the messier it gets. And I used some of this Taco Bell seasoning. And it was okay. It was alright. Last time I used something else. And it wasn't as good. And I see some people have like the uh, beans up there. The whole black beans, I've never used those. I use the jalapenos up there. Or like these. And it was okay. And I used the green peppers and all that stuff. And the salsa. And it's so many different salsas and so many different cheeses. And it's just so confusing to me. It's so confusing. And then some people use these flat tortillas. It's just so many different ways to do it. And I want to find a middle ground as far as how to do the tacos. And it seems like once you put the meat in there, it's not enough room for anything else. And then if you put the sour cream first or second or last, it's still messy. And I just can't get the hang of tacos. And they make it seem like it's so simple and so neat. But my tacos never look like this. And I'm trying to figure out why. And there's no room for the cheese on top. You can only add just a little bit of cheese. And then the cheese never melts. I want my cheese melted. What is the problem with my tacos? Does anybody else have this issue? <sighs> anyway. I'm still <laughs> walking around with no panties on. And I got to hurry up and get <laughs> back so I can take my bath. I hope I have enough time to take my bath. And... Uh, you know, get my mind right and get my mind together before I go to this job. You know, you got to have your mind together before you enter that atmosphere of demons. And you just never know what you're going to encounter once you get into that atmosphere. <sighs> but I digress. I want to give me some bleach, but then again, I don't really need any right now. So... I move right along because my my next couple of weeks is so uncertain. I'm trying to apply for this other place. And um it's a house. For those of you that are so concerned and just pressing me about getting a house and y'all not gonna help me pay none of the bills. But you keep on saying, You need to get a house, you need to get a house, you need to get a house. But <laughs> Not one of y'all are going to help me pay that house. Note. But anyway, I'm not doing it because anybody pressured me. 
I'm doing it because I feel like there's nothing else that I can do other than to get a house. And look at these sluts. And um man, I'm just I'm gonna go this way because I don't I don't feel like being around sluts today. I don't feel like it. I want to have a slut free day. Slut free day today. I like these pants. Check these pants out. They feel so good. They're thin. They look thick, but they're thin. I like these. How much are they? Eight dollars. What size are they? I don't use the wet pajama pants when I'm at home, but I like these for some reason. I, I really do. I might get them. So, I like these. I could do some good walking in these. See, that's a whole set. I like that. I really do. How much is that? I can't stand when I like something. Oh, here it is. And it doesn't have the price. It's $15. <sighs> that's cute when you get out of the tub or out of the shower you just slip that on and go I really like these pajama sets look at that it has the uh, top to go with it woke up gorgeous no filter <laughs> I like that do I really want these pajama pants probably not I like these pants these shorts I mean they have such cute stuff in here. Especially for the little babies. They got some real cute little clothes for babies. And I think these shoes right here are so fucking comfortable. They really are. I need to get out of here because I got to get to this job. Because I know if I be late, they're going to be looking all frowned up and stupid in the face. And I don't want to look at that. You know what I mean? And I don't want to hear nobody's mouth, even though this is my off day and I'm doing somebody a favor. Anyway, let me get on. Y'all let me know why my tacos don't come out right. Why, are, why do my tacos not look like Taco Bell's tacos? Answer that question. I'll let you girl. Peace.